Well, unlike just about any other library or research facility I've been associated with, there's a real collegiate atmosphere here. When you come in under the dome, you're, you're in the presence of not just all these objects, but other scholars. And uh, for me, it's, it's kind of an old home week when I come back here. It's a, it's a real community of scholarship. At the American Antiquarian Society, this community of scholarship can be supported through residential fellowships. During their time at the Society, scholars use the library's resources and participate in seminars and presentations that involve the full community. When I was in graduate school, I got a month-long fellowship to come to the American Antiquarian Society to do some research on my dissertation, which was an investigation of a 17th century war in New England called King Philip's War. The wealth of materials available was tremendous. But more even than that for me, what was transformative about that month in Worcester was that we were asked to present our material. We had to give a seminar to the assembled community of other fellows and the staff. What I got back from those people was a sense of belonging in an intellectual community. It was a way of being welcomed into, you know, what would have been called in the 18th century, the Republic of Letters. I've always dealt with history in, in my creative work. History weaves through culture, weaves through art. You cannot unbraid those three. For me, there are artistic moments that I can explore through history in ways that I can't do simply uh, through my own imagination. Coming here to the American Antiquarian Society was, I think, a real leap forward. Everything I needed was here. Coming here made me realize that I am part of a larger community. It's really allowed me to open up my worldview um, about who I am as an artist, who am I, I am as an intellectual, and to actually claim the label of historian.